All right, we are live. Oh man, I'm here with the time teller. This is Give crazy. Me a second, guys, I'm just opening up. I want to be able to read your chat. Yeah. There we go. Oh, Anthony already says he can't stand me. I'm sorry, brother. You're just going to have to put up with me for a little bit here. <laughs> the joy <laughs> of YouTube commenters. Isn't it a great way to start our first live stream? It's like, Jory, I like you. I can't stand that guy, though. <laughs> All right, everybody be civil because this is the first time I'm, I've ever done a YouTube live stream. So I want this to be a good experience. Dude, the first time I ever did a live stream like by myself, like before my watch you off days, it was with Christian and he showed up like 20 minutes late. And I had like 100 viewers in there. Like, and I could just, it was, it was awful. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Jory, thank you so much for having me on your channel, brother. I know, dude. Okay, so the reason that uh, we're doing this little surprise live stream is because on Thursday, the 21st, so the day after tomorrow, uh, we're actually doing a full length live stream where Fed and I will be actually discussing a pretty interesting topic. Um, we're going to be talking about Seikos and Rolexes and if it's really okay to like both. Yeah, and, and side note, this live stream, the one you're watching right now, fellas, Jory told me about it 20 minutes ago, and it's 11, yes. 10 p.m. in Miami, and I'm in a bathroom. Yeah, so, so and I'm wearing, my, I'm wearing my I Love Intercourse shirt, so you know <laughs> that you're just relaxing. Dude, I didn't even see that t-shirt. I didn't even see that till right now. You got to send me one. Uh, so for everybody that's wondering, I get so many questions about this. Uh, this is actually a town in Pennsylvania, uh, and there's a horse and carriage because it's actually right around where uh, the Amish people live. So it's not actually – it is a lewd joke, but there's actually, um, you know, a wholesome meaning behind it. But, yeah. By the way, one of your viewers, D-Lamp, says – What's your opinion on bathrobes? Brother, whenever I'm home, I'm always wearing a bathrobe. That's all I wear. Uh, I don't wear a bathrobe, but I'm so hairy that it feels like I'm always wearing a bathrobe. Uh, <laughs> so under this, I'm, I'm kind of wearing a bathrobe. Oh, man. Um, so, yeah, guys, live stream, me and Jory, you know, we're going to talk about not only Seiko and Rolex, right? We're going to talk about everything in between we discussed right. as well. Because, and, you know, what does it mean for you collectors? I mean, you've got a $10,000 watch or twenty, maybe a $100,000 watch. Is right. it okay to still like Seiko or are you just lying to yourselves? Right. Are know. these things low-end, high-end? Are they mutually exclusive? Is it possible to actually navigate for yourself through this whole collecting business? Or do you have to stay true to one thing? Uh, that's what we're going to be talking about. Dude, it's so hard. It's so hard for me not to get into this into this discussion right now because I, I really, know. really want to. I know. I know. Um, I can't. I don't know. I don't even know how to look at any of the comments or anything. I don't oh, know. Brother. Okay, so what you got to do is you got to open a new browser window. All right. And you got to go to your channel and open a video like you're going to watch uh, that video and mute it and mute it. Right. Cool. Well, I'm learning, guys. You can tell uh, I haven't been on YouTube very long because I've never done this before. Dude, you've been on YouTube a quarter of the time I have, and your channel is bigger than mine. Not, I don't think so, man. You're the expert, dog. I'm, and, you've I'm got a more, <laughs> and you've got a more impressive beard. Like, uh, I'm, it's because I was born with this thing, dude. Dude, you know how I found out about you? I was just, it was like I hadn't shaved in like a really long time. And I recorded a video. And one guy was like, dude, you look like the time teller. I'm like, who the fuck is the time teller? <laughs> so like, I went to look it up. And I'm like, I'm like a more handsome version of him. Exactly, dude. That's what I always say, man. Uh, you're Italian, right? So Italians, <laughs> and this is not supposed to be disrespectful to anybody. Italians are yeah. just better looking like dumber Jews. That's what I say. <laughs> All right. 
Get that clear. <laughs> Better looking, but dumber. Yeah. So it's a trade off, right? Jews are way less good looking, but we're like a little smarter. Have you ever had a, oh, a video demonetized on this platform yet? Um, one. Okay, so there was the whole. Because uh, you're on track. Right. So okay. So you, <laughs> you know, you know, you know. A few months back, um, th- there was the whole like uh, crisis with with yeah. things getting demonetized. Blah 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 blah. Um, that that's like that's leveled out. Um, but one of my videos is still demonetized and it's the, the one that's titled size matters. And, ah. and yeah, and I'm literally, I'm talking about my little, uh, Cartier tank. Um, but because I chose like a provocative, uh, title, YouTube didn't like that. So, um, I'm pretty sure since you just called me a stupid yet handsome Italian, this one might be a candidate for demonetization. Oh, well. You heard it here, guys. My last video on YouTube. (laughs) Anyway, fellas, we don't want to let the cat out of the bag this much. uh, Well, yet. But please join us on Thursday, 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific, uh, here on uh, the Time Tellers channel. And actually, we might be trying to make this a regular thing. We we don't know. Let's see how it goes, right? We're, we're, We're testing the waters now exactly well on that note um i feel a little exposed on youtube <laughs> so right, i'm gonna yeah, let you guys I wanna, go i want to see all you guys here uh 12 pacific standard time 3 p.m uh eastern standard time wherever you are you guys can figure that out um but yeah we're going to be talking about seikos rolexes everything in between are, are these mutually exclusive? Let's talk about it. But I'll see you guys on Thursday, the 21st, here with Federico from Federico Talks Watches. Take care, fellas. Thanks, buddy. Be well, guys. <laughs>